Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a drop down menu in Figma in 2023. Whether you are a seasonal designer or just getting started, this tutorial will equip you with the skills you need to create a stunning drop down menu in 2023. So let's jump right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. As an example, simply go to whatever browser, as we said, you have, and simply type in this URL section, figma.com, and hit the enter button. So for you in your case, you'll have to go and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, make sure to go and create an account by clicking and get started on the home screen that you will find. Then you will be prompted to follow the instructions to create your account. Even logging in will be the same. Of course, you will have even a Google option if you want to log in into your account or even create in your account. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account, you can use that if you want. So once you're logging into your account, you'll find yourself on the dashboard or something like this. And of course, if you just created your account, you'll be asked some questions as an example. So you will have to go and follow them. And if you follow them, of course, they will even help you uh, with what you're trying to do in this Figma. So for us, I'm just going to click here. I want a new design as an example, so we can create our drop down menu. Of course, let's just start by placing a rectangle here, as an example, and put a text on it. And of course, the text is going to be drop or let's just uh, drop down menu. Of course, for you, you can type here whatever you want. Let's just change the color, select it, go here to the color and do this. Make it bigger a bit. As an example, let's just make it even bigger. Okay, not that is too much. Uh, it's too much again. And yeah, okay, that is good. So simply, let's just select these or this one and we can put this here in the middle and now we can add or add the image let me just go and add for or look for as an example drop down menu png go and search for that okay we want something like this as an example so let's just go to images as an example we can uh, select this and click save image as let's just name it here test click on save course once it's saved we'll just simply have to close this go here place image or video make sure to uh, select this test and here you are here you have it so make sure to make it smaller until it fits your need so simply let's just make this smaller a bit or sorry let's just go back and yeah we'll need to move this we can okay let's just move this again and yeah, like this. Now we can even change the color of this as an example. If I can, I can even change some some things of it. As you can see, the exposure, the, con uh, the contrast, the saturation, temperature, tint, highlights, and shadows. Or we can even change the background of this rectangle as an example, which we'll, we can do as an example here. We can choose this. And as an example, that's going to be our drop down menu. So when people normally click on this, what they should receive. So let's just create another one as an example, another rectangle, or you can simply go here and click on this one, then simply click here and click on add this. And as you can see, uh, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. Of course, let's just put a name as an example so we can notice uh, our projects if you want uh, to edit it in the future. And here, let's just uh, simply create another rectangle. Why not? And let's just create another one uh, like this. Let's just make it a bit smaller. Let's change the color of it to the same color as an example. Come here to this rectangle right here. As you can see, make sure to go and get this code and go here and paste this right here. So we can have the same uh, color. You can even change uh, to another color if you want. Make it a bit uh, uh, like darker so it can show its difference from the other one so let's just make it smaller a bit yeah like that and here as an example we will have to add some text so the text the first text should be like as an example menu and we can change the color again to black 
and we can add or go here and add another one and another one and another one as an example yeah just add four options here of course just select it with this one selects the text and yeah now it's good now we would like to uh edit this as an example the first one is going to be home screen as an example the second one should be i don't know maybe sign up sign or sign in and the third one should be sign up as an example and the fourth one should be as an example can text uh, us option and as you can see this is going to be your drop down menu of course your drop down menu should not be alone you'd like as an example to add a header page uh, and the body and as, as an example as an example let's just add here another image let's just add this right here so make sure to make this a bit smaller you can put this as an example as the background if you want to simply go here and go bring to or send to back as you can see this sh uh, could be our background as an example of our page so simply this is going to be the header and this is going to be the background as an example as you can see now i'm putting this uh, to um it will not like it's not looking that good so we can even just go and delete it as an example we can go and edit this however we want and here of course this drop down menu you can simply as an example put here one or 12 or something like that so it will be better not this one make sure here to select like a 20 or something like that you can even edit the frames you can edit whatever you want and as you can see this is going to be our drop down menu even let's even edit, edit, remove the header so for you you can go and edit whatever you want so here here you have your drop down menu someone click here you will find the home sign up or sign in sign up and contact us and that's going to be your drop down menu so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you know now how to edit or how to create a drop down menu in figma of course by following these steps we've covered kind of everything and uh, not uh, not everything of course that is like uh, a whole word that you can discover by your own so of course when you get used to that you will even get better and you'll do even something better than this so if you enjoy this tutorial be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more design tips and tricks and tutorials don't forget to hit the notification notification bell and leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel. If you have any issues and concerns, you can leave them down below in the comments. And thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.